Hey everybody, Dr. Ben here. Got asked to do a video about fat-soluble vitamins. And this is essentially in response to a comment I got about another video that I won't mention because it's a commonly quoted thing about fat-soluble vitamins that if you add extra fat onto, say, your salad, that you will absorb more of the fat-soluble vitamins. And of course, the fat-soluble vitamins are vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. And we could argue that vitamin D is not even really a a vitamin, it's more of a hormone, but that's another discussion. So the science shows that if you add more fat to uh, something like a salad, that you will absorb more of the fat-soluble vitamins. And this is essentially where nutrition study really goes wrong. This is what we call reductionism. That you're so, you're so adamant about getting these fat-soluble vitamins that you're willing to add refined foods like oil, which essentially have no vitamins in it, to your food to get more of the, so you're adding food with no vitamins to get more vitamins out of the food that does have vitamins. But then what you're essentially doing, you add something like olive oil, it has maybe a tiny bit of vitamin E and that's it, no vitamin A, no vitamin K, no vitamin D. <laughs> and so now you've just added refined foods to your whole foods, to try to get more nutrients out of the whole foods, but really you've just added more empty calories to your food. So the net gain is actually less because now you're eating all this refined food that has no nutrition in it, and of course we see as the fat in the diet goes up, the risk for heart disease and all these other chronic conditions go up. The uh, develop what's called intramyelocellular lipids, which causes insulin resistance, which leads to type two diabetes. So when you're so focused on getting certain vitamins, um, <laughs> you end up causing yourself more problems because <sighs> there's almost no fat soluble vitamin deficiencies in the United States other than vitamin D which is of course an issue with sunlight and vitamin D is essentially a hormone that's caused, um, that's create, that your body creates on its own when sunlight hits your skin. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, get plenty of sunshine. I don't consume any vitamin D through my diet. I don't need to, it's a hormone. My body naturally produces it with sunshine. So I'm not going to consume extra fat, especially in refined forms, to try to get more fat soluble vitamins that I'm at no risk for a deficiency for. So this is a, what's really a big problem in nutrition today because people look at individual nutrients and they don't look at the big picture and they also have this idea that there's no such thing as too much of something, that it's all about deficiencies. But deficiencies are really a early 20th century, late 19th century nutritional problem and, and before then too. Now we pretty much get plenty of every vitamin. Um, the real problems are from excesses and most of those excesses are excess animal products, excess refined foods, excess uh, oils, excess animal protein, excess animal fat. And these are the drivers of things like diabetes, heart disease, Parkinson's, cancers, um, Alzheimer's, okay, autoimmune conditions caused by too much of these foods. We do not need to worry about fat soluble vitamin deficiencies. That's like low on the list. Maybe if you live in a third world country, but for now there's no point in adding extra fat to your food to absorb more vitamins that you're already getting enough of. And in fact, fat soluble vitamins, if you get too much of them, there are conditions like hypervitaminosis A, hypervitaminosis D, <laughs> that you can actually um, have serious problems and possibly die from too much of certain fat soluble vitamins. But you'd really have to eat a whole lot. Like if you ate an entire polar bear's liver, there's enough vitamin A in there to kill you, okay? But <laughs> most people aren't gonna do that. So I hope that explains it. I hope you get the, yeah, understand this concept of reductionism, that when we look at individual nutrients and we don't look at the big picture, we lose ourselves and we actually end up causing more problems than we fix. So if you're interested to learn more about a plant-based diet, I wrote this guide. It's um, my guide to succeeding on a whole food plant-based diet, which is the diet I recommend. I'll put a link down below, you can download it. Hope you got a lot out of this video, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I've created a special gift for you. If you're new to a plant-based diet, and you'd like to try it to lose some weight or get help with a disease condition, this book is for you. It's my top seven tips for succeeding on a healthy plant-based diet. Yours free when you sign up for my email list. All you have to do is click the link below.